Hey and welcome, I'm James, creator of Mission Boost. Thank you so much for joining me here today with today's very powerful information. Now I know if you're watching this, there's something truly special about you. How do I know this? Well, you're most likely in the trenches of your nonprofit's work, doing some of this world's most important work, making it a better place, right? So first, before we dive in, I just wanted to take a quick minute and truly say thank you for the work you do and your commitment to your cause. So naturally, you're probably wondering, like, who the heck is this James guy and why is he so fired up talking to me about Google Grants for your nonprofit today? Uh, I'd love to tell you, and I'm going to, but first, I wanted to make uh, absolutely clear for you who this information is for today and who it's not for, right? So uh, this information is for action takers, right? Uh, if you plan on taking this information and putting it to use, it will work for you and your nonprofit when it comes to using the Google Grants. It's also for those that are realistic, right? Some nonprofits or some people expect to just launch the grant and start raising funds the very next week. You have to keep it you know, honest with you and say that's very unlikely to happen, right? So I need to set some expectations. If you're realistic, this information will work great for you. Um, and then lastly, if you're fast moving, right, and you're willing to try new things in your nonprofit. I know sometimes when you try something new, it could be a little scary, right? But good, uh, you know, thankfully you're here today learning this information. Now who it's not for is if you're naturally a doubter, or unbeliever, or a skeptic and you just don't believe that this whole online marketing and internet thing could work for your nonprofit. If you have that belief, if you're watching this now, you've already you know, failed your attempt or your uh, possibility at success with the grant. It's also not for outdated, uh, outdated rigid nonprofits, right? So some nonprofits come across a ton of them, uh, they have some old school models and they really aren't willing to try new things. I found that the grant doesn't really work well for them. So back to my story and why I'm talking with you here today, right? So it actually all starts with my best friend and little sister who was born with the AIDS virus. And because of this, me and my family got to experience a nonprofit growing up called the Laurel Foundation. And now really quickly, what the Laurel Foundation did was provide uh, camping experiences and an amazing community for families and individuals that are suffering um, or affected by you know, the HIV or AIDS virus. And ultimately, my time spent this nonprofit growing up proved to me that there are powerful, amazing individuals that are committed to changing and making this world a better place. Most likely, just like you watching this video here today. So you fast forward from there, I'm getting ready to graduate college as a young adult. I'm like, what do I want to do you know, as a profession? Well, the best answer I can come up with is to become a social entrepreneur, create a business that's dedicated to helping nonprofits do what they do best. So uh, college is winding down, I get an internship and get the opportunity to learn from some of the best digital marketers in the world here in San Diego. I then continue to learn and obsess over new skills in the past six years, been uh, taking everything I've learned and implementing them with my nonprofit clients, right? So when my first project started with building a WordPress website for a nonprofit called Wounded Warrior Homes, the rest was history and I never looked back from there. So as you can see, the reason why I'm talking with you here today and why Mission Boost exists is to help you and your nonprofit get more of what it wants. So now my personal goal with Mission Boost in this course is to teach you as much as I've learned over these past six years working with my nonprofit clients in a step-by-step -step fashion. So in the first lesson, we're going to cover a very powerful topic called nonprofit avatars. And what's important about this is that it's going to simplify every single action you take for your nonprofit when it comes to using the Google Grant. Up next, we're going to get into campaign and storytelling a little bit, but specifically how to use your story best with Google Grant so that you know you see the most powerful results there. From there, the next lesson, we're going to go over how to very quickly and easily apply for the grant. In fact, if you're watching this here today, you'll learn how to apply for the grant in about 30 minutes or less in a very easy way. So I'm excited about that for you. And, and in that lesson, we're going to go over some of the basics of the Google Ads. Now, really quickly, this is not a deep dive into Google Ads. Um, that's not the intention of this course. However, if you are interested in learning more and training your nonprofit, you will have access uh, to some very high power training um, that's advanced for that, uh, you know, at the end of the course there as well. The next lesson is on landing pages and why you must use them with using Google Grants for your nonprofit. Uh, because if you don't, I've seen this hundreds of times, you will fail, right? So I've seen nonprofits, uh, you know, not use this tool and learn this information here today. 
From there, we're going to get into your communication strategy, right? So when you use the grant, you're going to get hundreds, upwards of thousands of website visitors every single month. And I'll teach you the best way to, you know, after you've captured their attention, how to communicate with them. And then from there, you're going to learn about a very special brand new program that I've ca created called Mission Boost Academy. And this is where you will be able to learn how to access more tools, more training, and all the resources that you could ever want or need for succeeding when it comes to the Google Grant. So thanks again for joining me here today. I also wanted to let you know, if any questions whatsoever pop up in any of these video lessons, uh, be sure to reach out so that I can help answer them for you. Thank you very much.